going on, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Tonight we're doing some Battlegrounds, and, uh... I pose one question in the title of this stream. Something that, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure uh, if we're going to be talking about a a lot or a little or what. But, um, I don't know, just, just throwing it out there. Legacy was talking about some changes to Battlegrounds um, that uh, uh, he was, you know, kind of hoping that Kabam would, would do a bit more. With the mode uh, he's been saying it's feeling kind of stale for him and yeah i'm just kind of curious if you guys had any input um i don't have anything particular to share but maybe as we kind of spitball some ideas maybe i'll have some things um <laughs> give me one sec Mm -mm. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's let's get this uh, let's get this party started though, you guys. Um, let me see here. Sama mama, you about to have something coming to you. <laughs> Hazama Mama, thank you very much uh, for the two. Uh, let me see. You got anything in the chat? Here we go. Yes, sir. P.S. Test Spider Punk. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. We'll see. We'll see. He looks really cool, and that does lead me to want to test him more than most spider characters in this game. Uh, but you also know how I typically feel about some of the other spider characters, especially Stealth Spidey, uh, and the animations and all that, and I wonder, I wonder if I would actually enjoy Spider-Punk, or would I actually just resent the fact that another spider is in this game, even if it's a really cool looking spider, you know? Because, like, uh, this, this might sound crazy to you guys, but... What if I never tested Stealth Spidey? Then maybe I wouldn't hate him. Because I don't really hate fighting Stealth Spidey. I don't really have a problem with that. Um, he's a little bit squirrely sometimes, but for the most part, uh, no problem. I just hate playing as him. Uh, so I'm a little afraid that I'm just going to turn into a, a, a spider punk hater when I play him. Uh, Gorilla Music. Let's see, look at this. Gorilla Music in the chat. Oh, it's slightly below what's on screen. Um, but, B, uh, but Gorilla Music is saying, BG, you won't enjoy Spider-Punk. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'll enjoy Spider-Punk. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, all right. Hey, Cade, thank you very much for the buck as well. Saying, man, first time tried it so close. That was pretty close. That was almost a double. You and Hasama Mama could have been slap buddies. Uh, but thank you very much, nonetheless. Really appreciate the support. Uh, even if I cannot show you my appreciation in the form of a slap. Um, okay. Let's see. Couldn't type in chat for some reason. Weird. Uh, let me just claim some of this stuff real quick. Yeah, I'm like almost capped out on this. I really need to continue using those, which I will do. But, let me claim... Ooh, this is about to fully max me out, so maybe I hold off on this one until... Oh, wait. I thought it just told me I was at 8600 before I claimed the other ones. Uh, am I losing it? Hold on. Uh, no, okay, alright, maybe maybe in my head I did the math already and thought I was at 8600. Yeah, okay, it updated. Okay, alright, never mind. Uh, I am losing it is the answer. Uh, or maybe I never had it. I don't know. One or the other. All right, I'm going to hold off on claiming that one, though. Let's let's go. Uh, by the way, I wanted to do it on stream, but I kept thinking I was going to forget and everything, so I just ended up doing it off stream. Uh, the Alliance, they, they, I mean, shout out to everyone in the Alliance. They cleared the raid. 
Um, I, I didn't help at all. I was just kind of waiting in standby mode as backup and uh, they cleared everything. Um, you know, running out of Alliance raid tickets though. I'm going to have enough tickets for one more raid. And then after that, I mean, the tickets, they're going to be, they're going to be gone, man. Um, okay, let's, let's go hit the, the dailies real quick though. Let's get the apothecary, uh, out of the way. I think it's level up by the way too, right? Yep. According to the laws of law. Eh, freaking knew it. Okay. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I see you guys in the chat. Let's get this all set up. And, what's up, Red Dog? And, this is your reminder to go ahead and claim the Daily Crystal from the online store. And I'm doing it now. I'm logging in. Thank you so much, Kabam. Really appreciate you uh, having us do this every day. Uh, okay, Daily Crystal. There it is. Cool. Okay. All right. <clears throat> My quick two cents, Laser. What are your quick two cents? Let's see. Uh, I would eliminate the victory track and have some seating like concept for Gladiator Circuit from season to season. It would be all Gladiator Circuit. You'd always be fighting people at a similar rating to you, kind of like how Alliance War works. That's basically what happens right now already, Laser. Uh, once you make it to, like, what is it, Platinum or something? Yeah, you're, you're, you essentially just have a hidden rating. That's all it is. So, basically, you're just saying there would be a visible rating. Personally, I still like a distinction between the uh, the Victory Track and Gladiator Circuit. Um, I've been familiar with this system ever since playing Hearthstone when that first came out. God, hold on. Let me see. What was the Hearthstone release date? Was that 2015? Hearthstone release date. 2014. And, I mean, the beta. Hold on. Hearthstone beta release date. Okay, so it was also 2014, but January 2014, yeah, so, um, interesting, I thought the beta lasted longer than that, but I guess not, uh, just felt like a long beta, because I didn't get in right away, anyway, yeah, so for the past 10 years, I've been used to this system, and I, I like it personally, um, having a, a, a victory tracking gladiator circuit. Now, there's still, like, some minor tweaks about it I would make because I still feel like it's not... It, it doesn't show very well in the UI. I feel like it showed so much... There was a much better UI in Hearthstone. Um, and I don't even think the UI over there was, like, anything spectacular. It was kind of basic. It was, you know, very cartoony, but nice and it's fine, you know? Um, but for whatever reason, the, the, the UI for it here, I just... I don't... I don't know, man. doesn't feel uh, as solid. Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, are we still doing his homework? My homework, Miss Jane? Uh, or did someone else talk about homework? <laughs> Kai, thank you very much for the book. Kai, let me see here. Where are you at? Here we go. Took Black Panther to rank three for Valiant. Hey, grats on Valiant. Grats, man. That fresh Valiant title. Hell yeah. Uh, going with the Panther. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't... Um, you know, I haven't really spent much time with the Panther. Uh, it doesn't feel like my particular uh, type of champ, but... I like that other people like him. I think that's cool. And I think that was largely spearheaded by Kabam John as well. Which is, uh... Good buddy, uh... uh Dev. Um... So, yeah. Doofus Puncher with that 26 months saying x a thing. Doofus Puncher. You got something before me on the Tweety Veers? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
way too many good synergies. It's like trying to decide uh, what you want to watch on Netflix. I can't tell if this is a serious statement or not. Because a lot of people think Netflix has a lot of garbage. And I don't know if you're saying there's too big a selection or if you're saying that oh, it's all garbage anyway. Um, but my god! The fact that this is a 565 Ascended Dormammu. Dude, did it, was this fire always like that? Dormammu is pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, I like me some Dormammu. Um, dang, dude. This is pretty interesting. I kind of want to see Dormammu in action in the Battlegrounds. If I was a dev, my name could be Kabama Mama. Wow. K Kabama Mama. Sweet Jesus. It would be a very fitting name for you. It's true. Um, Doofus Puncher, though. Grats on the rank up. It's awesome stuff, dude. Uh, did I say, did I already, <laughs> Jesus, I can't talk. Did I already say what's up to you, Lags? Mm, current system requires you to fight so many matches every season that many people just get burned down on it, even if they uh, like the mode. Yeah, but how does that change if there's no victory track? I don't know that it that it changes. Um, I love this system. Gladiator Circuit ain't a right. You gotta earn it. It's great motivation to try and improve your roster. Hell yeah. I feel the same way, Red Dog. I totally feel the same way. The thing is, let's say there was no victory track. How do you know when you've when you've made it? <laughs> um, and it, when it's when it's, it's just a rating, you know. And like that's fine for some things, but it's in my opinion, it's nice. Yeah, to have that feeling like it, it, it's like a it's like a milestone goal is what it is, um, because the goal of being like the number one player for the season, I mean, come on, one person gets that, uh, but the goal of hitting the gladiator circuit, way more people, and of course not everybody uh, hits it, but way more people are able to do that, uh, and then for the people that are not able to. You at least have like different milestones that you can sort of remember that are not just a number and then um you know eventually make it there with uh, enough effort and enough seasons going by um and yeah i really like that um but i mean it's, hey listen even though i uh uh am disagreeing with taking away the victory track Hey, I still welcome the recommendations. Welcome the thoughts, the ideas. Even though, let's face it, none of us have any power to actually put any of this in place. It's still interesting just to kind of get the gears working. Um, I might offer out some ideas that are co complete, uh, like the worst ideas you guys have ever heard or something. But it'll be fun to talk about, so. Um... Yo, is that white mummy in the house saying hello, BG? Hope you're having a good time. Tagged you on fo what? Four new BG verse posts? If you have time to check, how is this possible? Four of them? There's no way, dude. Oh my god, there's actually four here. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude. This one's this is a good reminder to stop eating chips. To put the Doritos down, man, because this this is my future. This is this is an actual reality. Uh and yeah, I still look pretty good. Let's be clear here. I'm so oh, I'm not I'm saying <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> White mummy. Uh let me see the next one. What else we got here? No, no. Oh, my God. Wow. This is incredible. I don't even know what to say. Uh, oh, my God. Oh. Uh, I don't know what to say on this one, dude. Like, this is... 
This is, I, I'm going to frame this and give it to my mom on Christmas. <laughs> That's the one right there. <laughs> this, that is the one right there. Oh my God. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, white mommy. This might be the, my favorite one that you've ever done. That's nuts. Uh, okay, we got two more still. Wow. Anyone up for a little rock, paper, scissors? Uh, dude. Korg always seemed like such a happy guy from the movies and everything, you know? So... I don't mind being Korg. If, if that turns me into uh, as happy a guy as, as Korg, there it is, dude. <laughs> oh, man. All right, the final one. Let's see. What is the final one here? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. The final one. Wow. Wow. The final one is very subtle. <laughs> it's, it's just the inner visor area or whatever this is called. It's got the eyes, but the glasses too. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, really good stuff. White mommy, especially the Modoc one. Oh, my goodness. Incredible. Uh, okay. Um, let me see here. Apothecary's done. Let me, uh, I'm not doing arena today. So it's going to be a little bit harder just to have this be as, you know, like a pure discussion or whatever, but I'm going to play some battlegrounds along with the, the discussion. Uh, Benefield with the bucks saying, evening BG, excited to start testing out a uh, new kit Nightcrawler as a seven star in just a few days time. Uh, is it just a few days? I thought we have to go through like another month or something like that. Uh, still waiting for a good Gambit slash Rogue buff in the mutant category. Hey, Gambit. You, I hate to say it. He might have already gotten his buff. Because, um, I mean, he, he, he did. He did receive a buff. He's got a crazy, uh, you know, synergy with, uh, with APOC and everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. A little little uh, inside info about Rogue. I don't know the full details. By the way, shout out to Frojo. Anytime I think of Rogue, I think of Frojo. Um, but I don't know the full details, but uh, apparently Rogue is difficult to work with or, or, or something like that. Like the way, because she's such an older character, um, you know... Uh, like the, her mechanics to like you know take buffs and stuff like that. like she would probably require like a kind of a, a a big overhaul and stuff which I would be all for. Uh, I think that would be super cool if they did a completely redo Rogue from the ground up. I think Rogue is such a cool character, so I'd be all for that. Um. Same with Gambit, even though I, I, yeah, I've got no hopes for Gambit because I think he already, he already got his. <laughs> I said good BG, uh, Benefield. It's true. Um, thanks for taking time to check. Modok is my favorite too. My, White Mommy, it's so good. Uh, no Lobo with the forty nine months. No Lo Lobo saying BG. Can I spill the beans? Excuse me. Whose beans? Better not be my beans you're spilling. I have a guarantee onslaught nuke sub 45 seconds regularly. My rank three Adam Warlock, or maybe I'm late to the party. I don't know. I don't know if you're late to the party. I ban uh, onslaught every single time. I just don't know how to fight that guy, man. Um, so that sounds pretty good to me, dude. 45 seconds. I think, are people using jugs for that fight? Uh, I think, uh, I think that's who I remember seeing use, or was that for a different fight? Uh, I don't know. I feel like someone shared a, a, a video somewhat recently. Ooh, dude, it's a big Vox. I'm gonna get rid of that Vox. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think I'm gonna ban you. Alright, let's get Kate out of there. Sure. 
Starting off the draft right. Mr. Ducky. Uh, okay, some of my mystics have been banned. So I'm not too worried about that. Those bans. Sure. Sure. I was thinking about banning uh, Kindred, but I was thinking, ah, I'm sure I have one counter not banned. So let's just hope that I can pull one of the counters. Yeah, I think I go with these two. Good draft so far. I wanted to pick two of those other champs, even. Uh, Rogue's synergy with Absman makes her kind of busted. What synergy is that? Hold on. Son of a... Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude, this draft. This draft is on point. If I can get this draft all night tonight... Uh, I'm in good shape. The timer for Rogue's replicated buffs is paused during the opponent's special attacks. Oh, that is really nice. That is really nice. This is this should just be baked into a regular kit, in my opinion. Although, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that is seen as too OP. I don't know. I wasn't kidding, though. Go to Ante and tell me... Uh, what is the best synergy combo to go play around with? Oh. Oh, Doofus Puncher. Do I take these two? Um, ah, I think I should have taken Destroyer, actually. Well, whatever. I got to rank Destroyer up. I was forced myself to pick him a little bit before. But I got to get him higher rank before going back to that. Otherwise, I just have to take some other champs, I think. Uh, let me see here, though. Dormammu. Does he have a lot of synergies? Oh my god, he does have a lot of synergies. Holy hell. Okay, we'll take a look at some of that um, after this match. Um, uh, sure, Sassy on D. I think they can fight this Sassy, but... He's still going to hopefully put up a fight. Saturday night, bid traveling. What's up, Clarissa? Mm, all right, Kindred going down. Um, Guys, what do you think? Do I torch it? Do I hulk it? I don't want to torch it. I think this is okay, right? I gotta learn Kindred's abilities, dude. One day. Uh, how long will he be live, BG? Worth putting on my TV while I work? Um, maybe. I just started the stream. It's uh, ooh. ooh. And we have both hits. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. One of my better kindred fights right there. That is going to be a win. Uh, maybe it's good enough for me. <laughs> okay, sounds good, buddy. Uh, let's see... God. Dormammu. Gaining dark energy has a 10% chance to trigger a fury buff, granting 20% attack rank for 9 seconds. Ah, uh, this might not be bad I, if I'm remembering how to gain dark energy with Dormammu, but only 10% chance? Eh. Only a 9 second buff duration? Eh. Increased health regenerated? Hmm. Non-robot villain champs have a 20% chance to revive. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about this synergy. But that was like a, a real interesting synergy when that came out, kind of. Bonus energy resistance is reduced by 950. Can that go into negatives? This is with Blade, really, man. I don't remember that. By the way, they're still in there. Uh, imbued a... Ooh. All right, we got it. Imbued attacks have 1250 increased attack rating. I don't remember exactly what imbued attacks attacks mean, but this might be a good one with uh, Sigil Witch. 
We'll get some more of these after the match. Mm -mm -mm. You're in luck. You just announced a 24-hour stream. Wow. Nameshi. I absolutely did not. <laughs> All right. Mysterio. Um, let's pop Kingpin on defense. And now here's a question for you guys. Do I fight this Mysterio with Hulkling or Mr. Ducky? I'll go Hulkling. BG, you can totally reach Gladiator Circuit before Abdo. He's not in the Gladiator Circuit? Abdo usually goes way fast. Oh, well, there's Abdo right now, actually. Uh, what's up, Abido? Abby Doe, are you not in the Gladiator Circuit, buddy? That would be a surprise to me if you're not. Okay, let's... Um, I guess, yeah, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, no! You're kidding me. What a jerk, you guys. I got freaking parried by a dude with a fishbowl on his head. I think I'm still okay, but like that's the only thing that could have possibly left the door open uh, in that match. Unbelievable. Okay. Anyway. Happy Doe, thank you for the raid. And no blast two nights have been due to. Ah, bummer, buddy. Bummer. What the heck is Fury vs. King? Yeah, that's it's, it's gonna be a tough one. That's that's a that's why I think I'll be all right. Olcon D, I don't think we're going around three, Red Dog. Um, let's get back to some of these synergies while we wait here. Eighty percent energy resist. A wow, dude, they finished that. Full, that was pretty good, actually. Good game. I don't know if that was second life. Probably not, because uh, it's hard to finish with that health total in the second life. But, uh, yeah. Well played. Good game. Okay, 80% energy resistance while uh, taking damage over time. No. There is something interesting about that, but no. Okay, uh, dimensional beings uh, gain bleed immunity, 20% ability accuracy, and 900 armor rating. Um, well, it's too bad that you don't really need that. So, let's see. Uh, after adding one detonation charge by heavy attack, light attacks have a 30% chance to add 10 detonation charges. This might be the one. How many detonation charges can you get up to? This is what I don't remember about Dormammu. But Rintra might be the one. Uh, gain up to 75% attack rating based on dark energy charge. This one's also a bit interesting. Uh, Hell Lords increases any health gained while it's imbued. Dimension, dimensional link is active. Nah. Uh, all effects that power drain the opponent also deal a burst of energy damage for 15% of Dormammu's attack. Uh, this one's not bad. If you're going for a power drain play style um this is basically yeah i mean you there's a lot of uh power drain from dormammu so you're going for like the double mediums it's not amazing but it's also not bad it's i think it's nice because it's like the the burst damage you know uh some crit rating and then after using an imbued attack gain 40 dark energy That one also seems pretty good. I don't know. I am not a... Uh... <laughs> Hulk is sad. Dude, Red Dog. Hulk is sad. I actually got to draft him and I couldn't even play him. I'm not a Dormammu player, so I don't even remember exactly how his kit works. 
I'm a bit familiar, but of course I fought against him so much more than I fought with him. Shout out to um uh Killer Greens on that one. For um uh, I think he used Dormammu uh, a bit on attack and alliance war. Way back in the day, you know. But that wasn't me. Um, Doofus Puncher, dude, thank you for another five, though, with the, it's a lot to process, I apologize, it's kind of fun looking at it, it's just, uh, man, I don't know exactly what to tell you to do. Okay, wow, wait, what? Fighting lags? Is this a friendly and I didn't even realize it? <laughs> I saw the roster. <laughs> oh my god. Go destroyer. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Uh, Battlefield, thank you very much for the buck. Appreciate it, Battlefield. With the Tweety Birds. Okay, okay. Check it out in a sec here. After I destroy lags. You think I didn't notice? Who would be foolish enough to make a mistake like that? Hmm. You guys think I should beat lags with Shuri or Venom the Duck? I might need Shuri. Uh, all right, Benefield, I have your I have your tweet pulled up. Check it out in a sec. Mr. Piggy. We gotta go whole cling. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do it. Okay, we got some some decent chance. I mean, I, a little light on defense. If I'm being honest, this is a little light on defense. Maybe, maybe too light. But uh, we go, we go with this. We got some some heavy heavy hitters at least. So. Okay. Destroyer's gonna have to go on D. Infinity man, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's use Hulkling. Dude, I haven't seen Infinity Man in ages. Lags, did you just put him in your deck? Or has he, like, actually been good for you? This is crazy, man. Let's land a few charges build. Don't know if that was a waste or not. All right, I want you to dash back for me and cough. Thank you. Oh, I feel like my champ's already dead. Okay. Need a little bit more power. That's enough. Now we go for the finish. Probably not it, but... Nah, 41 seconds. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You know, if that was a rank two destroyer... 
No, probably wouldn't have mattered because I'm sure that was with a lot of overkill damage. It just took Spot a little bit of time to get going. Uh, I'm sure that's what it was. Ow! Okay. Let's see. I think I will throw down... Sh Shuri. Let's go Shuri. And... Oh, you guys. Do I pig this? Or do I hulk it? I'm going to I'm going to pig and if I go into round 3, I I think I rather have Hulk for round 3. I don't know that we're going there, but we got to play for it, so Oh my god. That's not good. That block damage. That was insane. Okay, I may have made a mistake here, you guys. <laughs> um, it turns out uh, I messed up. Oh. Turns out I seriously messed up. Oh, no, he's unstoppable. Yep, yep. Okay, well, that's going to be game. Uh, <laughs> let's throw some pies in his face, at least. Yeah, why don't you howl to this moon? That's a moray right there, dude. Or something. Okay, I'm dead, though. Alright, okay. Should've hulked. Should've hulked. Learned my lesson. Should've hulked. I could've done that. I could've... Yeah, if it's taken him over a minute, I could've won this fight if I hulked it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should've gone hulk. That is what I said. Don't read my last message. Jake? What is your last message? Your last message says to use the pig, Jake! God, I didn't listen to you anyway. I listen to my own dumb advice. Okay. Uh, lags. Good game, buddy. What's going on in there? Let's look at this. Honestly, if you saw this roster in Battlegrounds matchmaking, who are you banning slash most worried about? Granted, I am a progression level lower than yourself. Hold on. We have 15 seconds left in this. My game just crashed. Lags. Did it actually crash? Or did it crash? Are you trying to extend the match here? Are you just trying to go to round three? Okay. We're going to round three. Oh, a little winky face, huh? I hate doing this fight with Sunspot. I really hate doing this fight with Sunspot. Like, this is more comfortable, but I'm going with Sunspot for practice. Oh, God. No! Okay. God. Didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't even ramp. Oh my. I did some damage.
How'd I do? I'm not saying it's perfect, but how'd I do? Oh! 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 Never mind, I know how I did. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> uh, lags, you know you actually won this. You know you actually won, Lags. EG, it's a SIG 20 core. You can try for some parries. I know, I know. I, that's why I was just hitting with mediums. But uh, I still want it to be for practice as if it was a high-level Korg. Ish. Yeah, Lags, you know you won this match. But good game, buddy. Good game. Was fun. All right, let me see. Uh, so who would I ban out of your roster here? Mm. I, I'm honestly probably banning this void off of this page. Probably void. Probably kindred. Probably onslaught. I say probably because I'm also looking at this monkey and I know he's pretty fast. Um, APOC is your only uh, ascended rank 5, right? Because this is a rank 5, but unascended. Uh, you've got some rank 2s, you have some rank 4 ascendants, but I, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe I do take out this APOC because he's, uh, he's pretty sturdy. He's pretty damn sturdy, but... Yeah, my gut tells me void for sure. Um, and then it would like the maybe is uh Kindred, and then I would say Onslaught. Kindred is the only one that I would maybe sub out for for someone else that I mentioned, but that's probably who I'd ban if I was looking at your roster. Groin with them ten runs and last two. Okay. Let me see here. As a free-to-play player, it is quite difficult to keep up with the rest. For me, it is mandatory to play the arena, then the rest. EQ, AW, AQ, Battlegrounds. So I wouldn't say it's a problem, especially with the Battlegrounds, but with the time the game requires. That's very true. That's very, very true. That's something that gets brought up all the time. So... I don't know if you guys remember when I was talking about yesterday when I kept pulling up my own videos, which I'm still embarrassed by, but I did it, all right? Anyway, when I was pulling up my own videos and I was saying one of them, you know, had like a song in it that was a nice song or whatever, and uh, I felt like it made the video, it turned the video from just an average video into a just slightly above average video. Anyway, the video I was actually looking for was when I... Uh, was giving feedback when Dungeons was first released that there is simply too much to do in-game. MCOC, it's such a weird game because it's like too much and too little to do at the same time sometimes. You know? Um, because a lot of like the too much to do is, is the stuff that feels a bit like busy work at times when there's like too little of the the content that you're like really super stoked for um ooh once again off to a good start with the draft uh so yeah but be like especially when grinding arena but even even not grinding the arena it's it's really hard to keep up with all the day to day stuff uh and i think some of that's by design um, you know, like, you, why would, you know, like, how, how, how can Kabam sell a shortcut if they don't have a long path laid out? You know, like, the, the, because you can get units in two ways. Let's, we're double ducking it, dude, screw it. You can get units in two ways. Either you take the long way, and that's the arena, or you take the shortcut, which is the cash shop. You know, and, uh, the... <laughs> The, the road has to be long and grueling for you to be like, you know what? I don't mind throwing down some cash. Uh, I'll save that time. Thank you very much. So, to some extent, I don't think Kabam would necessarily just start, like, 
throwing things out the window like oh yeah yeah let's get rid of all the the busy work stuff well you know I, no i don't think anyone's expecting that but i think even kabam recognizes that like man this is too much this is ridiculous um this is way too much stuff at the moment So, I'm hoping that they eventually kind of streamline things a little bit. Um, well, let's go Hulky B, I guess. Pretty solid draft. Ish. Damn it, Haley. That's not... That's not Haley Haley, is it? Like Haley Miracle Haley? Do we have two Haley's? Or is that the same? With a name change. UG, will you be adding some six stones to your very first rank five uh, ascended duck? Probably not. But I don't know, maybe. I kind of like to leave him a little bit under the radar. It would be cool if his PI was higher, but like, that's also what I'm trying to do is. Or, or not not even that his PI is higher, but just to like have him fully maxed out. But like, I, yeah, I do want his PI to be. Ooh, ooh, I didn't see the Doom draft. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who am I using here for this? Uh, damn it. This is not cool. I guess I'm fighting with Sassy, but I didn't really want to do that. Should I have maybe, like, Hulkbuster this guy? They're going to go Torch. Probably because they saw me throw down Sassy. So now they don't need to... Uh, save Torch for a different fight, but interesting Torch against Fury. That's not really a super fun time. Not a super fun time at all, really. If you ask me. Let's push him to that special too. Come on. I'm in Wrath mode, buddy. Alright. Oh, I wanted to just go for it. Yeah. Oh, it didn't quite... Oh, well, it did kill him, but... I guess I had to wait for a little bit of that dot damage. Shout out to Mad Cat. He uh, gave me a little bit of advice end with light attacks to get into uh, wrath mode faster which I did this time totally worked I think it depends on the uh, the matchup because when you end like your medium attacks that's how you get the ruptures and you need the ruptures to deal that big damage on the special too but if the fight's gonna be long enough then yeah you just want to get to um Wrath mode faster, which you do that with the uh, the lights. Haley is popular tonight, is she? Uh, now you've confused him. Wait, Abby Dell. Oh, she did change her name. Oh. Yo, he natch. What it? All right, we're up one round though. We're up against a fury. It was almost a foe ten. Um, hmm, you guys. I think I'm gonna. Do we just double duck it right here? And I'm with the one two duck a roo. A duck on defense, a duck on attack. Screw it. We're doing it. So, it would have been nice to save the duck for a potential void on defense in round three but i can't resist a double ducking you know what i mean we should deck some once there we go okay 
Okay, let's go with some regular combos just to get him to that special too. Alright. I'm just gonna chill actually. Because I need to build up more furies. But I am gonna fire the special two right now. Oh my god, that damage, dude. <sighs> That's not cool. Dang it. I tried for it. I didn't quite get it. You could heal block. I don't like the duck versus fury fight. It's not my favorite matchup. 1% health, are you kidding me? Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was going to be a win. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. It's going to be tough to finish this one out. I think I'm... I think I'm, uh... At a decent disadvantage going into round three here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should have put uh, Hulky B on defense or Shuri. But, what was Shuri? Either way, Venom was going to roll. Like, no matter what, which of the three I put on defense, Venom was going to be their attacker. Um... Okay. We try, but this is, is going to be a tough one. It's going to be tough. At least she threw the heavy pretty quick. That's good. Thank you for that. A little bit. Come on, man. It doesn't get much cleaner than that. That was the best I got, man. Good game. Good game. That was a decent fight, you guys. I don't even have... I think that went exactly the way I wanted it to. I can't even... Can't even say there was room for improvement. I'm sure somebody out there could have done something slightly better. But for me... Oh, no. That was... I like that one. That was a good fight. All right. Good game. Uh, very close match. Whew. PG, who would you rank to, Red Skull or Warlock? Well, let's do a little poll. Who to rank to, Red Skull, Warlock? What's the rest of your post before I do this? Uh, both unawakened. Uh, Red Skull is more meta right now, but Warlock has that timelessness about him, which is why I'm conflicted. Yeah, that's that's... I think that sums it up very well. I do think Red Skull is probably slightly more popular at the moment, but yeah, there is a, a timely, a timelessness about Warlock. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. That relic intercept at the end was perfect since you're unblockable. Ended early. Yeah, it lags, I know. I'm probably too late to hit a replay. Hold on. Let's see. Nope, not too late. Okay, so. The just barely not too late. Check this out. This is the absolute perfect time I could have hit a replay. So, look at my power right now. I, I, I'm not close to a special two. 
and I see that she's unblockable. I see she's got, you know, 11 charges, and I'm like, hmm. I set myself up beforehand knowing that I wanted to go unblockable at the start of my combo. So that's why I only have one charge left that I have to hit into a block one time. Then the rest of my hits are unblockable, and I've got a striker. Now, I was kind of debating. Uh, do I throw the striker before the special two? Uh, after the Am I going to get there? I think I'm going to get to a special two, though. So hopefully I have the striker after. But I'm not going to throw it right away because the moment I start, you know, hitting into her, I can't just unleash a special two like uh, you sometimes do um in this situation i have to go for the rest of my hits so uh we do a full combo and then special two and then yeah the unblockable it like it's still there but by the time i can hit the striker button which would be like right now um it, it would no longer be there and uh even if i could have hit the striker button slightly faster than that by the time the striker made impact with Photon would no longer be unblockable. So had to uh, save it. And I tried to hold block because uh, she's unblockable and in her pure light form, I don't want her throwing the special. So I'm just holding block, waiting for it. And uh, a little bit of cooperation on her part helped me out. All right, I'm going to end this poll. Dang, dude, it's 50-50. <laughs> yeah. I, I I mean you you summed it up so nicely between Red Skull and Warlock. It's it's a tough call. Um, Warlock just barely wins with fifty one percent compared to Red Skull's forty eight percent. Here's what I'm gonna recommend: go Red Skull. You said uh, Red Skull is meta right now, right? And Warlock has a timelessness to him. You know what that means? Warlock's probably going to be good next year. Red Skull, I hope he's good next year. Hope he's still relevant. But if he's not, well, you don't want to miss the chance to take advantage of his abilities today. Um, So, yeah. Play with him now while he's at his peak power. Because who knows what other counters are released uh, between now and 2025. Um... And while it's sometimes better to plan around the future, because like, oh yeah, but I mean, if they make counters for him, well, isn't it better than to go with a champ that's less countered or at least very useful in all of the Summer of Pain style events, things like that? And to some extent, yeah, but also, wouldn't it be really fun just to just to play with a little bit more of a of a different option? Because Warlock's already had so much time in the sun that the dude. If he wasn't made out of metal, he would need some serious uh, sunscreen. He needs to get on the banana boat, you know? Let me see here. I want to ban... Is this person running recoils? 34,500 PI. Whoa. Um. I... Ah, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good ban. I don't know that I needed to ban Chavez. I kind of panic picked at the end there. And now I'm kind of mad because, like, I mean, I got Torch, too. Um, did I need Torch for other things? I banned two of their top. I got the pig. Let's let's go Shuri for the second one, I guess. Doofus Puncher! Thank you for the book! Uh, saying I shouldn't be the D, someone take the D. Uh, is that why you sent over 178? Because now you're 678? Wow. Uh, well, Doofus Puncher, thank you very much. But I disagree. I think your D is quite fantastic. Let me see. Ah, man, this draft is not really going the way that I had hoped. First, first kind of bad draft of the night, perhaps. It was Puncher. But looking back at your other comment, too, you said, I also took Red Mags to rank 5 Ascended. That might be different. I mean, hey, that Red Mags, he's always going to be cool. Ah, oh, you guys, the two ducks. We got a pair of ducks quacking together over here. Do I take them both? No. 
would be kind of fun, but no. Warlock is less meta because of the Cosmics that cook him on defense, unlike Red Skull, and Red Skull is a much better domino counter than Warlock, which people look for. Yeah, but this game isn't all about Battlegrounds, you know? Um, and outside of Battlegrounds, Warlock, I don't know, he's just got that, that kind of consistent nature to him. It's pretty nice. Okay, this... I mean, even though I still say go Red Skull, but, uh, you know, just to just to play Devil's Advocate here. Um, but, okay, anyway, this uh, this draft is... Uh, it's, not, it's not amazing. What? That was unexpected. Uh... Just found a 40% revive and about the carry. Oh, yeah, lags. What is going on here? This person's not AFK. They they selected that. Um, I want to fight this with White Tiger. I thought about saving White Tiger for Penny, potentially, but I, I kind of just want to do this fight with White Tiger. I lost a CGR on defense before, so, I mean, I shouldn't... I, like, I need to take this fight seriously, but... Okay, they are running recoils. What I thought. Oh my god, I dexed early because I was trying to go for, like, a quick... Okay, it didn't do much damage. It's fine, everything's fine. Yeah, okay. I guess of all the situations for me to get a not that great draft in, this is you know, this is this is a good one where uh a person's running recoils and they don't have a super recoil friendly setup so meaning cold stone flavored jelly beans i don't think i've ever had cold stone like this ice cream place right cold stone creamery or whatever they make jelly beans too I think we, I mean, I'm pretty sure there was one near me in New Jersey. I don't know about Washington, but unless I'm thinking of a different place. But whenever I wanted um, something cold and delicious, I would get a Slurpee. Okay, let's see here. Yep, I just did that. Putting Wicked on defense. Let's get wild with it. More. You can go pick. Whoa, huge lag spike right there. <laughs> All right, good game. I disagree on this game is about battlegrounds because in this end game content right now pretty much any champ can solo the bosses so your rank ups at least mine are battleground focused because anyone can do the story you nailed it with the parentheses there of at least mine 
as in your champs. Um, I don't disagree with what you're saying. If Battlegrounds are your focus, then yes, you rank for Battlegrounds. Um, I used to rank purely for uh, Alliance War before Battlegrounds came out. When it was for the same reason. You rank for the mode that's most competitive. Um, because that's what is required to be competitive. However, that does not describe everyone. Um, I don't know if this person said uh, what their focus was for. And the other thing I'll say is, like, even though, like, Battlegrounds are a mo is, a is a mode that I care about, um, I'm not ranking to be the world's number one Battleground player. I'm ranking a bit for both. Three things, really. Uh, one, to win Battlegrounds, yes. Two, to have fun winning Battlegrounds with playing like champs that I think uh, that I enjoy the most, even if they are technically not the best or most competitive. And then three, yeah, I still want to be prepared for other areas of the game. Um, we used to have a free revive system in this game. Unlimited free revives for many years. And that is no longer a thing. It is technically still a thing. It's just at a very slow rate of, you know, two a day. One from the Apothecary, one from the 22-hour soul events, right? Um, speaking of which, I do need to do some leveling up. But now that uh, that is no longer a possibility to have free infinite revives, um, it is once again nice to have champs ranked up that can tackle content. And having Warlock, who has been proven time and time again to be a very solid champ in something like, uh, you know, Summer of Pain, Winter of Woe, Eternity of Pain, all that stuff, uh, I think that's totally fair to go with someone like Warlock. Uh, to be prepped for that. Because are you telling me you can't win Battlegrounds with Warlock? Maybe you can't be the number one best player in the world or something like that. Uh, I don't know if they've got Warlock in the deck, but like Warlock wins Battleground matches all right. Um, that said, like I said, I still am on Team Red Skull for this, for this vote. It's just that I don't, you know, we have to... Uh, we have to think about everyone's situations, not, um, uh, you know, not, not, not purely just our own kind of thing. Um, if more info is shared at the time of like asking for advice, if like, yeah, if this is like definitely just for battlegrounds rank up, well, that's one thing, but there's plenty of people that say, Hey, I don't care about battlegrounds. I think more people play this game for, for, everything outside of battlegrounds than they do for battlegrounds so even though like you know maybe more people in here care about it if you look at the bigger picture a lot of people don't give a damn about battlegrounds uh pp thank you very much for the buck saying hey bg i have a bone to pick about immunities dragon man should be incinerate immune and sauron should definitely be a dragon won't explode and catch fire but a dino might Oh my god. You had me really sitting here thinking. I'm like dragons can catch fire. What are you talking about? And then I I read the 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 dynamite part. That's all that was? It was just a pun setup? PP. Come on. Come on, dude. Boo. Oh. Okay, anyway. Terrible. Take a lap. Jeff, thank you very much for the book. Saying ABG just pull. Oh, let me cue the next one. Or should I do some leveling up first? Eh, we got a little bit more time on it. Let me. Let's cue another one up. I'll level up after this. Someone please remind me. Uh, okay, Jeff, thank you very much for the bug. Saying, hey, BG, just pulled six-star spot. Does he have the power to carry me to Cav? Ooh, Jeff. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. So here's the here's the deal with Spot. Does he have the power to carry someone to Cav? Someone who's already a Cav player, sure. The reality about Spot is uh, he's he's very strong, but he's got a different play style. Um, he's he's a very very strong champion. And this is not to knock you or any other players that are not already Cav. It's just that uh, it might make things more complicated. Person's got a pretty dang good roster, man. That 565 Ascended Maestro, Serpent, and the Rank 2 7 Star uh, Onslaught. All those got to go. Dang, I see that Fury and I just think I got a Rank and Ascend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the fury I want, and this is the fury I have at home. <laughs> this 10k PI lower. Oh god, why? What am I doing? Go oh, high bomb. So back to spot though. There's, there's two issues if you're not already Cav with Spot. Number one, his Awaken ability is a huge source of his power. And if you're not Cav already, it's difficult to Awaken and Sig up Spot. Now, maybe you have those resources, maybe you don't. I don't know. I'm just uh, telling you what I do know. Let's go with Hulky B... No, I guess. And yeah, because of his different play style, it might be difficult to adapt to it while still like figuring out what other champs you need to bring to that content. Because um, the biggest hurdle to getting Cav, there is like two big fights in my opinion. The first, oh, three big hurdles actually. Uh, Six point one point one. No retreat. I actually think that's a pretty tough quest. Um, I think questing wise, after that, it, it lightens up a little. It's a pretty tough one. I'm gonna go jugs. The rare, the rare jugs play out of me. Uh, after you get through six point one point one, the next two big hurdles is uh, six point one point two. The the mini boss, the the sentinel mini boss. Um, you gotta have someone that's decently powerful that's bleed immune. Um, even the Ultron boss after is a bit tough too. So it's not like you're home free once you make it through the mini boss. But that 1-2 combo is, is a bit rough. And then after that is the crossbones fight in 6.1.5. Where you need a poison immune champ. And ideally a champ that can like prevent the healing from crossbones. Um, and Spot, he doesn't really counter those big hurdles that well. Um, he's just kind of a damage that is very powerful, hits really hard, but he doesn't cover that specific utility. Who am I using in, uh, in this fight? Uh-oh. Uh, do I just throw? Can I, can I use Sunspot here? Hulky B? Should I have Hulky B'd this? I should have thrown, I think. <laughs> I think I made it. No! Oh, what am I doing? Why did I just throw a mutant in here? Oh, this is... Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's time to end the stream, you guys. What did I just do? This is going to be a problem. I think? I wanted to heavy attack there, and maybe I should have, but also had a lot of power. Dang it, dude. Stop throwing your special one. This is actually kind of okay. Like, I'm not going super fast, but I thought this was going to be a, a much bigger problem. 
I'm gonna push this special too, because then after this, I'm gonna start winding up for my special too. And it's nice to get rid of the unstoppable and unblockable kind of together. <sighs> I'm just shy on power. I need to block to get the rest of my power. There it is. Okay, so now I can drop a special too. It's kind of slow. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh. Okay. I thought that was going to be a problem. That was okay. I... I could have played it better. Uh, even from the start, I slipped up not doing the right combos real early. Um, huh. Okay. That's about Cook's Nimrod. Just, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, did, I really didn't know. All right. Now I know. Uh, let's pop Fury on D. I'm hoping that they... Well, they're probably also going to put Fury on D. No, I'm going to go Photon. Um, have I have I Hulk busted Photon before? Is this okay to do? Nice. Decent start. Okay. Couple hits in the block. Didn't really uh, see that. Um, I should not bait another special here. Yikes. No. What? Didn't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. Because then I'm just going to do this. It's okay. Ah, not enough. Not quite enough juice. I needed. I needed the uh, that special. The one special I baited. Uh, I I didn't want to. That might have been the difference. Okay. Man, all, right. all right. All right. All right. Okay. We go to round three. It'll be a tough one. I've got all rank fours, all unascended rank fours. They didn't put Fury on D though. Huh. This is an odd choice by them of who to select for uh, defense. I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised at their decision here. Now, I'm not great with jugs, so I might still botch this, but I feel like they gave me a tremendous opening. I don't know if that's wasteful to go for a heavy with them or not. Yikes! No, no! Oh, God! Can I tell you guys I wasn't good with this guy? <laughs> Oh, I thought it would be... <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> Am I still playing MCOC? <laughs> uh... <laughs> that was a terrible fight. Let's go back and watch the replay. <laughs> uh... Nah, they got it. They got it. Alright, I should have won that. I really should have won that one. <laughs> Let's let's watch this replay. Good game. 
Uh, okay, so oh, it started out... Started out real, real funky-like. First off, I wanted the Dex right off the bat. I got that, so that way I don't have to deal with the uh, the crit into the block. So that was fine. And then I was like, I don't know if it's good to heavy attack this guy or not, but okay, I'm going to do it. So I did it. Uh, and then I blocked too many hits right there. So that was already strike one. That was a little bit of an issue. Then I'm like, uh, I don't want to dex with my left hand because when you block, that's what takes away is unstoppable. So I'll, I'll start dexing with my right hand. So that's what I'm doing right now. I don't normally do that. And, um, you know, normally what I do in this situation when I want to keep my distance and I don't want to walk forward, I tap block. You know, before doing like the final dex to then dex in. So I, normally I'm like feathering uh, the left side of the screen, just tap and block. I did that with uh with my right hand though so that's why i threw that heavy right there instead of going in and getting my attacks in uh and then now i'm popping the special two right into his indestructible um so that's all ways to damage uh <laughs> things just they spiral out of control it's just one little thing is off and everything just goes to hell with me i, I swear dude um this is a I'm kind of curious about this. I throw the striker. I'm unblockable. How come that works when, um, like, when when I'm unblockable with Hulkling? How come when I throw an unblockable uh, striker, it hits, but I'm unblockable with Jug, then it's not. It wasn't unblockable. Uh. Is that, I guess, unblockable maximum momentum? Is that just a different icon? I, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's maximum momentum instead of pure unblockability or something. I don't know. Overexplaining sucking. I mean, it's fun to break it down. That's how you learn, you know. You gotta, you gotta break down the successes and the failures. It's a, a learning experience either way. Okay. Anyway. Unblockable only triggers when you dash in. Uh, I see. I see, I see. Okay. Simon, thank you very much for the buck saying, Hey, BG, finally got Valiant. Hey, even though you're the devil, still congratulations on fresh Valiant, you bastard, you. Uh, openings were a bit disappointing. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm so sorry to hear that, Simon. Photon was cool. Uh, the Photon is cool. But Luke Cage from A Titan Made Me Cry. Ooh. Uh, also got Sauron, Jabari, and Ant-Man. Yeah. At least some of those are good for the, the challenges, right? The content creator challenges. Jabari and Ant-Man. Uh, my cosmic class was Null and rank three gem was skill. So forced to have a rank three black cat could be worse. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't that bad, actually. Uh, you got Null. You got Photon. Um, it's not that bad. Not that bad overall. Grats on Valiant, dude. Someone please tell BG he doesn't need to dex with jugs. Uh... What is that? <laughs> Jugs sings. Uh, right thumb anymore? Or could Bam fix that? Do you not have to? Interesting. Um, very interesting. Cause my my left dashes get treated as blocks all the time. So even if I'm not blocking, even if I'm just dashing with my left thumb, like that's why I do the accidental parry so much. Huh. I'll try it next time. Maybe I'll end up liking Jugs a lot more then. That, honestly, that's one of the things that throws me off uh, about playing Jugs. Is that I feel like I need to swap my, my normal finger movement. And it's the littlest thing, but it, it, it ends up... I mean, you guys saw what happened. It threw me off my game just enough that... You know, I, I, I ended up losing a fight that I think I was... Uh, favor to win in.
No, you only use jugs as unstoppable when you hold block. Okay. All right. Well, I'll try that next time I play him. Uh, okay. Let me see. What kind of ISO do I got? I still have quite a bit of ISO. Okay, dude, I just claimed these milestones. Okay, that was it. Okay, good. I should probably use some of the generic. That's the stuff on the chopping block. Earliest. And then cosmic and skill, but also mute. Okay, I got a bunch of class types. Okay. Let me see. Let's go to the seven stars. And... Well, now that I know that about jugs, you guys don't mind if I do. It's time to swap out my uh, my six star. Get the big boy ranked up. Mm -hmm. I still need to rank up a bunch of champs from 8.4. Uh, I'm sitting on a lot of rank up resources. And um, tomorrow, hopefully I post a... I wanted to post like the recap of who I got from the stream. Like a clip of that, you know. Uh, for the people that weren't there in the stream. Before doing the levels level ups that I can, you know, post the level ups and stuff. So, uh, it's probably going to be next level up event that I... Take care of all that and then yeah my deck will be a lot stronger again because i've got four four to five uh rank up gems bunch of ascension dust i can rank up some seven stars man dude the power levels feels like things i mean it's probably just because i was sitting on stuff to, oh, to some extent I don't know. I was going to say, it feels like things have been accelerated, but I think it's just the timing of it all. Because, like, I just finished doing all of Necropolis, which, hey, didn't take me that long to do. Um, and then 8.4 came out. And, of course, with that being a conclusion of an act, so many rank-up resources there. Got a bunch of one to two gems for seven stars. Claim that daily. Claim that daily. Um, let me level up a tiny bit more since I've still got stuff expiring. Might as well go for the fifth milestone. Uh, let's give it. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's give the blade. Put relic on seven star jugs. I will when I swap them on my deck. Sorry if, if this is a spoiler to some of you who may not have been there for the stream where I got the stuff. Uh, I'm hoping it's not a spoiler for for anyone in here. Okay, I think that's good enough, though, because now the rest of this stuff is on over five days, so that'll get me the next level up, and that should be, yeah, final milestone. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. You should be on TLC because of your hoarding tendencies, Brian. Wow. Oh, gee, seven-star blade. <laughs> Flags, where did that come from? PG should take Devil Spidey from the challenge plus blade. It's kind of what I said when I pulled him. Um, I really want to do all that stuff too, man. Let me let me see something. Because I'm I'm pretty sure I, I'm like very dry on on resources at the moment. Um, for uh. Oh, whoops. Like, what did I just click into? Four. Yeah, yeah, look at this, man. I've got ten of these. I got three of these. Ooh. 
What do you say when you pulled them? Oh, okay, Simon. Here's what I need to do next, though. I can't do the challenges next. I have to do this. Ten days left on it, man. I gotta get in there. I don't want this to, to wait until the very last minute. Here's the other thing I need to do, too. Someone uh, pointed this out. Was it yesterday or the day before? Sorry, I don't remember who pointed it out. That I'm extremely close to 400,000 artifacts. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I kind of... I don't want to pop another one of these. Yeah, dude. I have to. Like, Mojo would be number one. The dupe on Mojo? Damn, I would love that. I think I might take him to rank three if I duped him. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's a bit much. Maybe, maybe still just go with rank two. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to rank three him right away anyway, but you probably can uh, claim enough from your stash. Uh, I don't think I can, but I don't want to go look just in case you're right. <laughs> ABG, how are you? Been hunting Archangel for four years and finally got him. Hey, congrats on your Archangel. Took him to rank five and ascended him already. As for battlegrounds, I love the system, but I would like more objectives for more tokens. More objectives. Okay. Okay. We didn't end up talking that much about, about Battleground ideas this stream, huh? Uh, I was worried that might be the case, but at the same time... I think it's tough to talk about the systems of Battlegrounds while playing Battlegrounds. Lags up on Discord call and encourage BG to get artifacts. Oh, man. All right, anyway, though, with this crystal, Mojo would be number one. I think Angela is still number two, even though the dupe on Hulky B would be nice. So the fact that there's, like, three very wanted champs out of here. And the others, at least they would be new. Yeah, man. I think in the next ten days before this resets, I would like to do this, too. Ah, uh, okay. Um, by the way, Ronan, wait, Ronan on my last? That's who you got your last one? Ooh, rip. Um, <clears throat> wait, you guys, where was, uh, where, where was Abdo at? Because I'm, like, I'm getting pretty close to the Gladiator circuit here. Actually, I do still have... I, I got a good number of medals left. <laughs> I'm doing hard stuck vibranium too. Okay, okay. All right, so he, he's still a good bit ahead of me. But uh, only thing I change about battlegrounds is that Dab shouldn't be allowed to participate. <whistles> Odysseus, cutthroat, brutal. I agree. <laughs> no. If you cook hard enough, you get to Gladiator Circuit for him. Uh, I'm not racing. There's still 17 days left in the season. Uh... Here's the thing, man. I, I love Battlegrounds, but I would actually rather focus on the other areas of the game right now. But I feel like I need the rewards from bat from Battlegrounds, man. They're so good. Like, I don't know, Lags, I heard you say earlier that you felt like the rewards weren't super worth it. And perhaps for where you're at, that is true. I'm not I'm not denying it. Uh but I man, I look at all the stuff that I clean out from the store and dude, I love it. 
<laughs> I'm not even getting the good stuff a lot of times. A lot of times I'm getting the, like, I would just wipe it out the five-star shards, the five-star sig stones. Um, I am still getting some, yeah, I'm still wiping out at least uh, the non-selector tier six. Um, and I do get, you know, some of the, some of the um, tier six basic, tier four alpha from time to time and stuff, but. From my perspective, because I don't participate in alliance quests, I don't participate in alliance wars, uh, so I don't I don't really have like glory to be spending on all that stuff. Um, and then, what do you get for uh, the season rewards here? Let's see, dude. This is still, mm. damn. That'd be so sick to get top ten. Get that Scarlet Witch and dupe. Is anybody... Can someone please get me another pair of glasses? How many fragments is this? Jesus, man. 225 of the tier 3 and 285 of the of the tier 6, it seems. <clears throat> Six star nexus. 25 percenters. Wait, let's say... This does say tier 5. I thought this was going to say tier 6. Huh. Didn't expect that. Okay. Oh, it's because... Okay, yeah. That, okay, that yeah, makes sense now. Alright, anyway. Uh, let me see. Battleground rewards for C6 are totally worth it. I'm saying pushing like C4 plus top 10. The amount of effort compared to reward is ludicrous. Oh, for sure. I do agree with that. I don't know that Kabam could necessarily beef those rewards up that much. Just because at some point you kind of do need to be playing for bragging rights, um, as as like part of the rewards. Because otherwise, if things just kind of like exponentially kept getting better and better and better, yeah. Um. At at some point, it, it largely is like fun and bragging rights. Uh. When it, with actual uh, rank up rewards, not not so not not really worth. Uh, Simon, thank you very much for the hundred yen. Simon, let me see here. You know, uh, hold on. Before I, do you guys? <sighs> hmm. You know. I, maybe I walk back what I said just now, just a little bit. What if the rewards... Uh, let me, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, Simon, let me read yours first, and then I want to talk a little bit more about Battleground rewards. Uh, Simon, 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 where are you at? Beat Abdo this season, and I'll make a vid about him. Hashtag motivation. Oh my god. Wow. You're gonna make a vid about Abdo, huh? And all I have to do is beat him in the battleground? That's what you're telling me? <laughs> beat him to the circuit? 24 hour stream begins here and now let's do this baby i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying um that is that is some real incentive though actually that's some pretty good incentive right there but no he's probably still gonna beat me it's a fun idea though uh about him too oh so i would still be the main focus or part of the focus or whatever <sighs> Not even worth. Okay. Alright, let me see these rewards, though. So... Gladiator Circuit. Celestial. Um, Alright, so C6. What am I looking at? Uh, um, is this just... Is this like uh, okay, celestial one? Okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't know if it showed it, 
in like yeah this way okay i see it just highlights it that's why I, like this is what i'm saying i really think that this ui is not very clear cut because like i mean I, I, I don't know man you're really just hitting this button and it's just taking you down in these different rankings why does it take you down in the first place anyway every other leaderboard like number one is on top it's just unintuitive in my opinion and like i understand why they did it this way i'm just saying i disagree with them doing it this way um but anyway what is like let, let me see celestial six versus celestial one so you get uh 2500 titan shards versus uh 10k okay uh 12,507 star shards oh god i have 38 right now uh versus 15k okay so barely a difference um what is, i mean is the titan shards is that really like the big difference i guess Seventy thousand of these as well i'm sure there's a big difference there 6k what was what was that again was that 3k for this yeah it was 3k okay and then 130k yeah i mean that, that's not um, that's not that much of a difference so i i do still kind of stand by what i said where at some point you are playing for bragging rights and you can't just like keep having like uh, an insane level of difference in rewards i actually think that um i think it'd be nice if kabam included some units for the top prizes i don't think you can keep giving like more and more rewards away in terms of uh like you like, you can't just be like oh, okay the number one person gets an additional you know two rank threes or something <laughs> like because then the i don't know the advantage becomes uh too much for like you know staying competitive for like next season or something but like i don't know maybe include some units just so that you could say uh instead of like grinding arena I, first off i'm not sure how many of like the top celestial players are arena grinders but it'd be better to kind of get them in the in the battlegrounds get them playing there or maybe competing for units rather than having to grind for units or something uh, just something to help out you know and since that is like the premium currency that could be spent on anything you know, maybe it saves them a little bit in future offers um i don't know i feel like that'd be maybe a cool addition i mean i i'm, I'm sure kabam's like yeah that's a cool addition except we, we want you to spend money on those things instead <laughs> so i don't i think the chances that kabam does is low but i actually think like of all the areas to add units in this game i feel like this is the area like how i mean how many times have you guys heard me ask for units in other areas of the game i i don't know if there's been another area um oh that's not true incursions actually only because i like the idea of combining arena and incursions um especially when incursions was team only and i saw it as like you play arena if you want to play solo and you play incursions if you want to like grind as a as a duo uh but that's the that's the only other way like i i, I don't think units make sense in other, any other mode uh really but here i think it would actually make sense to give out as part of the prize i don't know like i can barely play in a season and secure c6 with little to no effort whereas if i wanted to push for top three i would have to grind hours every day for like the final two weeks and nothing's guaranteed yeah yeah but so lags this is this is kind of the way i think of it too because i i agree with what you're saying but this is the way i look at it too you played call of duty right that was your like competitive game before mcoc what they give you for for playing call or, or or like i guess i don't know much about call of duty maybe there was some kind of rewards in there i don't know Fortnite? Does Fortnite have? I mean, at some point, like you, you, you're kind of just playing and competing for fun. Is my point. And uh, there needs to be like enough of a carrot on a stick to get you involved. 
So like, I, yeah, it's because that's how it was for me in like in like World of Warcraft. Uh, I was actually good at that game, and at one point, me and my buddy, we were rank one, um, rank rank one. Putting it in quotes because there's like multiple rank ones in in any given season, um, but. Still, it's like the top of the top of the top. Um, outside of winning a tournament, you 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 don't really go higher than that. And uh, we spent so many hours playing just to get better, just to you know, just because it was fun. Uh, and then we'd get burnt out and go play Dota just for fun. Um, there's no, you know no rewards there or anything. This is Dota one, not even dota 2 um so yeah at some point you're just playing could be for fun and kind of played wager matches Ooh, they had wa wager matches in that huh for money and tournaments always had cash prizes or credits on the uh, comp websites Ooh, okay okay well fair enough i stand corrected so i i like i said i do think that uh having units in here would be good I also really like the idea that you had the other day about uh, kind of betting. Um, even if they came up with a brand new currency. Because if you bet units, the problem there is that you have players that would just like throw matches to kind of like sell units. Uh, and there's a lot, of, a lot of scummy things that could be done with that. But if there was like a different type of currency... That you could bet and it was more of like a more of a just for fun currency but maybe something else could be done with it like maybe you can cash that in for uh i don't know like profile pictures or so i don't know it would it would be uh it, it's just fun like putting something on the line you know usually just one dollar wager matches it's not much yeah yeah uh but it's something so it makes it fun to actually try it yeah dude I, that's what I did when I when I would go like bowling with my buddies. We'd we'd put like a dollar or two on a game, maybe five bucks if we were feeling spicy, <laughs> you know. Um, and it was fun. This game already promotes gambling. Doesn't need betting. I think that's exactly why it needs betting. <laughs> no, all right. I need to. Um, I need to I need to go, you guys. It's pretty late. Um, I'm gonna call it here. I think there's uh, one thing I'll say before I go. Whatever Kabam does with Battlegrounds, I agree with lags where I kind of just want to want to see them experiment a little. Um, I have fun with the mode as is, but I like. I can tell some people have, uh, you know, feel like the mode is getting stale. And I personally don't want to get to a point where the mode feels stale. Um, so it would be nice if they if they made some changes. Because, I mean, that's what happened to me in Alliance War. And then I stopped playing Alliance War. I don't want to do that Battlegrounds. The two are so different that I think, you know, it wouldn't be the same type of exit from uh, Alliance War that it was for Battlegrounds for me, but um, still. I, uh, I I would like to see them do a bit more with it. A bit more changes. Um, okay. Anyway. I'm out of here, you guys. Before I go, shout out to Doofus Puncher for being tonight's biggest D. Doofus Puncher, thank you very much. And thank you to everyone else. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, everybody.